Good morning. Happy Thursday. I am <clears throat> getting ready to drop Noah off at school and we are like 10, 15 minutes early. So I figured I would do a little bit of car makeup and chat with you guys while I do it. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. I know the sun is like beaming in certain parts. So hopefully that's not too bothersome. If it is, I'm sure this clip will get cut from the video anyway. But um, yeah, so I don't have anything on my face. I did um, already do like my moisturizer and sunscreen and stuff. Hey, what you say? Quick. Quick? What's quick? Yeah, so. Um, yeah. So yesterday I bought some individual lashes because I was going to try to apply those because I've been watching videos and reading stuff saying that they could stay on for like a longer period of time. Kind of like DIY eyelash extensions, but they're not like eyelash extensions. They are falsies. They're just like in individuals or in little clusters. Uh, but they do attach to your regular, they attach to your lash instead of your lash line. And you use a different glue than what you would use for like strip lashes. And they can last up to like a couple of weeks from everything I've seen so I tried to do that yesterday <laughs> and I know some of y'all probably thinking don't do that that's a bad idea but honestly I wanted to try it and you know it's my eyes um, I was very careful um, and all like everything was everything was um, I sterilized everything before I started applying them I used the sterile area to do it hands were clean and everything so I felt fine about it. I wasn't scared. However, I could not get them things to stick to my lashes for nothing. Like literally nothing. Like, I don't know if it's because my lashes are so curly, but like, first of all, it's hard to put them on because my lash is so curly and I was applying them on top of the lash. I saw some people do it like underneath the lash, but all the directions from the manufacturer say doing on top of the lash so i'm like you know i do feel like if i'm putting it underneath there's more of a risk that i may poke my eye or something like that so i just went ahead and was trying to apply it on top and i had to like basically hold my lashes down to do it because they're so curly um so i don't know if any of y'all have ever used those let me know what y'all think about if y'all ever able to get them to work the all the videos i saw were people that were either like hispanic or white so I really didn't see any black girls doing it and maybe it's because our lashes don't cooperate. I don't know. I really don't know. It's probably just that I don't know what I'm doing because y'all know I don't even wear false lashes. Um, but I did want to try it because I figured it would be a cheaper option and not necessarily, the money is really not what I cared about. Is that I didn't want to commit to the lash extensions. I know I talked about that like in a few, uh, maybe like a couple of videos ago about um, possibly getting lash extensions. So I didn't want to commit to it without at least trying that first. So long story short, I went ahead and made an appointment to get my eyelashes, <laughs> my eyelash extensions done. So I'll be going Sunday. Um, I doubt that I will take y'all in there with me. I'll probably show you where I got them done and show you what they look like afterwards. But as far as like filming during the process or like when she starts or anything like that, I probably won't do that because I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable and y'all know I'm not really comfortable filming in public anyway so yeah but I will show y'all what it looks like afterwards so we shall see how it works out the place where I'm going is actually a franchise and they have an introductory offer and I've like talked to people that have gotten their brows done, or not brows lashes done there um <coughs> but they have an introductory offer where it's only I think $80 for new clients um for a seal which is pretty cheap well not cheap but it's very reasonable um the, they say their normal price of a full set of lashes is 250 dollars but during the introduction you can get it for 80 dollars so i don't know if that 250 is what they actually charge because that don't sound right to me but it is what it is it is a franchise it's um amazing lash studio which also makes me feel more comfortable because what all the products they'll be using will be standard standardized across the franchise so that just makes me feel more comfortable because even though franchises are like individually owned um there are certain things that have to be the same across the board that's part of being in the franchise 
So that makes me feel good because Amazing Last Studio is not new to this. They true to this, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So also the owners of this particular location. This particular location just opened, but the owners own several locations like in our area. And we actually had them in our studio, one of our studios for um, when we had our uh, two year anniversary. We had them in as one of the vendors that came in and gave like coupons and stuff to our clients. So yeah, I feel pretty comfortable using them. So yeah, I am taking forever because I'm talking to y'all. I usually am already done with this by now. Like I'm just running my mouth. Anyway, I have, the blush I put on was from this Hourglass Blush Palette and I used um, Luminous Flush. Yeah, it's the pinky tone one, this one here probably can't see it but I use that one and I'm gonna do my brows this is the Anastasia brow definer and y'all already saw all these items because I had them um, I showed y'all them in my last vlog where I was showing you what's in my little car makeup bag so sorry if this is repetitive also, sorry if the music in the background is too loud. Mr. Noah is listening to music while we wait. I usually try not to get to school early because he gets impatient just sitting here, but right now he's enjoying his little kid music, so he's fine. I did not do a good job on my brows this morning, but he'll be fine. I'm not doing much. Um, and I probably wouldn't have even done my makeup, but since I have the time, I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, so next is my facial spray, which I never switched out, but this is the MAC Fix Plus in the lavender. Yay! And it's at the end, so it's doing like that, what do they call it, like the camel spit thing? And then I got mascara. So the only thing I'm kind of concerned about with the um, lash extensions is, am I gonna be able to keep up with it? The first appointment is two hours long, <clears throat> well, one to two hours. And then for fills, they are, they can be about an hour. So that was my hesitation. It wasn't really about the money. It's more so about devoting that time, but I'm really trying to make a habit of devoting time to myself. Not a lot, you know, cause I'm still a mom. I'm not gonna be selfish, but some time to myself. So working out, that's part of me devoting time to myself. And I figure like this appointment could be like another time that I could devote to myself because apparently it's very relaxing. You just lay with your eyes closed. So it might be like a way to get a nap in, you know? <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah. And with Amazing Lash Studio, they have a membership. I'm not sure if the prices are the same across the board. I'm sure they're not. Um, generally with franchise most franchises prices are can vary a little bit because it's based on the area they're in um, You know higher income areas have higher prices generally so um, But for the, the studio that I'm going to for the membership if I buy the membership which is $109.99 a month uh, for 12 months then that will cover um, getting a fill twice every 30 days. So they say the lashes should last about two to three weeks. So um, apparently if you don't use it within that 30 days, that rolls over too, but I would need to get more information about that. But if if you do the membership, then that's not really that expensive. That's not more expensive than like getting your nails done. Um, Cause generally when I get my nails and my, if I get my nails done and my feet done, I'm usually spending over $60 after tip. So, it's about the same price and y'all know I do do my own nails and I might start doing my feet because I really don't I don't know I like getting my feet done because I don't like doing them but I don't actually like the process does that make sense like I like 
the end result but i don't enjoy going to a nail shop like it's just not an enjoyable ex experience for me honestly i don't i don't know i don't know if i'm the only person or if i'm weird but um i've always just kind of been one of those people i don't like paying for stuff that i can do myself and i've been doing pretty good with my nails so yeah that's that now that I've lost some weight, it's easier for me to do my own feet, just to be completely honest. Like one of the reasons that I stopped, I used to always do my manicures and pedicures, but I stopped like when I got pregnant with Noah actually. And <clears throat> then I kind of never really got back into it. And then um, when you're bigger, you know, you have, I don't know, it's just more uncomfortable to bend over like that. It's still not like, not like I'm skinny or anything, but um i don't know it seems to be a little bit easier now Ooh, what is going on with my lips today this is not gonna work mm -mm. Mm -mm. i don't know what's going on this never does that this is my sephora um outrageous effect volume but it looks like my lips look really like you know when you wear new gloss and they look like really chap pretty much like it accentuates your chap on your lips so that's not good that usually doesn't happen with that but i did put something else on this morning so it probably was a little bit of that left on my lips so i'm just going to use the chanel gloss this is the rouge cocoa gloss i don't keep gloss in my car like in my makeup bag but, uh, like my car makeup but um in my purse I keep my mini pochette and I usually have one I usually always have this gloss in here or this gloss and right now I have happen to have both so that's this one never makes my lips look ashy or anything so yeah that's that so that took me more than twice as long as it normally would but that's because i'm talking to y'all anyway so i've wasted enough time so i'm gonna go ahead and take mr noah to school and i will check on with y'all later bye okay so i spent way too much time and money well not really in tj maxx um i needed i knew i was gonna spend some money because i actually needed to shop for some clothes for myself so um y'all know i'm always talking about this no buy that i'm on <laughs> so make sure you check out my blog post i'll leave it down below that kind of talks about my no buy because it's not like a complete no buy and you know i i mention it a lot so like if you watch my vlogs and you probably need to read that blog post so you'll know what i'm referring to but anyway so it was time for me to buy some clothes because it's time for a vacation for me i'm actually going out of town next week and it's just a relaxing trip with my friends like a long weekend so i'm super excited to go and see them um however it is a beach trip our um where we're staying is an airbnb and it's on the beach so it's a beach pool, relaxing by the pool type trip. And I needed some swimwear. And also I needed some like beach wear because I mean, with me losing weight, I really don't have a lot of clothes that fit me currently except for jeans. Like I literally, on my off days, I literally wear like the same things over and over. I, I may switch up, I switch up my shirts and wear like the same jeans but i don't like wearing jeans like on the beach like i feel like it looks ridiculous even though i love jeans right, so let the hauling commence <laughs> um first up i like i said i got clothes but i also got like stuff a few other things so i'll show you that stuff too all right so first up is just these basic picture frames and uh, these are by Cynthia Rowley. I think they're $7.99, but I thought they were cute. They're just simple white and kind of like uh, like weathered wood, pretty much. So I bought these because Noah got his school pictures back. And I don't know if y'all see, but I got a new little like 
I don't know what this is called, a side car, a side, or I don't know, but a new like little decorative piece in my house that I haven't actually decorated yet, but I'm gonna put like photos and stuff there. Um, I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet, but I got that from Home Goods and I love it. Um, but anyway, so Noah got his school pictures back, so I needed uh, a frame to put it in. So I got two of these because Chloe recently took school pictures too. Hopefully they turned out good, but Noah's are like so cute. <laughs> so um, hopefully Chloe's turned out good and we should be getting hers back soon too. So I went ahead and bought two so they could be matching. If hers didn't turn out good, then I'll just find another picture, like a current picture of her. Because uh, I really don't have any current pictures of them up. I kind of have just baby pictures like displayed in our house. Um, so yeah. And then the other day, Chloe broke her piggy bank in her room. So I wanted to get her another one because it actually has money in there that um, people have given her as gifts. So I found this one at, Mar at uh, TJ Maxx too. All this stuff is from TJ Maxx, obviously. But this is this was only $8. It's a swan and it matches her room perfectly. And I'm gonna put it in a different place. Um, I'm gonna put it where we have like a little corner shelf where I used to put her monitor camera. Uh, but we moved the monitor camera, so I'm going to put this there. Hopefully it fits, um, so that way she can't get to it. So that's that. Gummy bear. These are for Chloe because she has a problem. And we have a problem as well because we let her eat them. Uh, next up, I needed some more lotion. <laughs> So um, I picked this up, it's by the brand Hemp's, and this is the fresh coconut and watermelon. I have used this particular one before and I really like it. It's $10.99 at um, TJ Maxx. I'm not sure what the regular price is, like an Ulta or somewhere, but this lotion is kind of, you know, one of those mid-range price lotions, so. And this is like ugh, summer in a bottle. You know what, I should have got like a smaller, lotion without a pump to take with me. I just thought about that. Cause I don't really like switching my lotions into travel containers, but I don't like carrying bottles like this because I don't want it to get on my stuff. So that was a fail. Okay, I got some candles because I needed some more like summer scents. Y'all probably, y'all don't see me buy a lot of candles because Honestly, I have like cabinet full of candles, but I have worked my way through. That's why I haven't been buying any because I was making myself use them. I have worked my way through a good amount of those candles that I had in storage. So really the only ones I have left in there are like heavy winter scents. And they're so heavy that I don't, they would kind of make me feel like sick, not sick, but you know, they're a little bit too much for this time of year when it's so hot. So, I did need some summer candles and I did look through all my candles to make sure I didn't have any. I only have one, which you can probably see back there. It's the Radiant Lime by DW Homes. And I was really going to see if they had any more of that because y'all know I talked about that last summer as a favorite. It, it is still a favorite this year, but it's almost gone. Um, so I went to um, look in there and see if they had any of those, but they didn't. But I bought three other DW Homes candles and these were all $10 and they are two wick candles. They're large. Um, the burn time on these, let's see if it says. Okay, it doesn't say what the like total burn time on the candle, like how long it'll last, but that one lasted me like basically all, not all summer, but at least like a couple of months last year. So yeah, um, so these, these are the same size, so I'm assuming they'll last about the same, but um, so this one I got is fresh cotton and linen, which I usually don't buy candles like this, but I've found that I'm not liking some of the sweet scents as much as I used to. And this kind of just smells like clean house. Um, so yeah, I figured this would be good to burn like during the day or when I'm cleaning or something or when I'm finished cleaning, just to make you kind of feel like you're, I don't know, make the space feel cleaner. I wanted to buy two candles because I have two candle holders next to each other and I want them to look cohesive. <laughs> so like the same kind of looking candle, It'll have to be the same color, but like the same size and all. So 
I was gonna just buy two, but I ended up buying three because I couldn't decide on one of them. But I got that one. I got this one, which is grapefruit and sugar cane. And this is also different for me, but I like that it, I like that it's different. It's like tangy and just a tiny bit of sweetness, but it smells really good and really like fresh and clean. And then the last one is pineapple and gardenia, which is sweet. So this one is sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's um, It smells mostly like pineapple with just like a hint of floral. Yeah, that smells really good. This one is the softest of the three, but I think that would be good because if this was too heavily scented, it might be too much, if that makes sense. So hopefully these all smell great when burning. Um, and I like the way these look. And these, just in case you're interested in this thing, and uh, this type of thing, these are wax candles. I think they're coconut wax, if I remember correctly. No, it doesn't say that. So these are like regular candles. So I know a lot of y'all don't burn like regular candles. You only burn like soy. So sorry, but these do smell awesome. Okay, so next up is a gift that I needed to go in there and get. One of my friends just had a baby. So I bought her baby some clothes. So I'll show y'all that. Hopefully, she should have these by the time this video is posted, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so I thought this was super cute. It's like two little rompers, super cute. This was only $14.99 and it comes with a headband. And I like buying baby clothes from TJ Maxx because I find that like everybody shops at Carter's, everybody shops at Target. Um, so I feel like TJ Maxx has kind of some different stuff, so they might not already have it, you know what I'm saying? Because people buy little girls clothes all the time, you know, like I'm sure her family has already gotten clothes. So hopefully this is stuff that's different, but I bought her a gift receipt anyway. I got a gift receipt anyway. So uh, I bought this, which I thought was super cute. Oh, I wanted to get this for Chloe, but I held myself back. <laughs> I probably should have got it. I'm probably gonna regret not getting this for Chloe, but I just thought this was really cute. It's a little top. It has a uh, little pants with a uh, detail down here at the bottom. And then what I also thought was cute was this little back. Oh, so cute. So got that. And then I bought some basic like onesies. I always like to buy my friends onesies um, for newborns because at that age, um, from anywhere from like zero to probably six months. They probably go through a ton of onesies. I know my kids did because we were changing them multiple times per day usually. Um, so yeah, I just bought her this five pack of onesies. And that was only like $10. Yeah, this is only $10 for this five pack of onesies. So that's the gift. And then everything else is for me. And there's a couple of things in here for Chloe. Just stuff that I saw on clearance. Y'all you know, Chloe, I'm still trying to get her clothes up because she has been growing. But first up, I bought, I'm just gonna pull out in random order. So this will be a mix of my stuff and Chloe's stuff. But I got these jean shorts because I actually own a no shorts. I have not one pair of shorts and I don't like shorts because I don't like my legs. They I just, I've never really felt comfortable with my legs. And even though I've lost weight, I'm still not comfortable showing my legs. So these are probably strictly for the pool. Um, so I bought these. I'm not even sure if I'm going to wear them. They are longer when it comes to jean shorts. But for me, they're still very short. Like they don't show anything. But I'm just not, I'm, I don't show my legs. <laughs> like my friends that I'm going with, they're going to be shocked if I put these shorts on. <laughs> But yeah, I thought I did try them on. They are cute. They do fit. They feel comfortable and they weren't expensive. They were $14.99 and they're really like soft. I probably, I mean, if I keep losing weight, these probably are not going to fit me, but I didn't want them to be too tight because I mean, who wants to wear tight shorts with a, um, like bathing suit like that, that's muffin, that's muffin top city. So yeah, so they do fit now. They're only $15, so if they don't fit me in a couple months, that's fine. But I have a pool, too, so this would be good for me to wear at home if I don't wear them on this trip. Um, it's just something I can throw on with my bathing suit at home. So that's that. And then this is from Miss Chloe. 
And I always buy her Minnie Mouse stuff because she actually loves Minnie and Mickey. I think she loves Mickey more, but she loves Minnie too. So like she'll go in her drawer and pick out this to wear. And I thought this would be cute for school. So this was on clearance for $8, a little set. The little pants say smile. I got this little dress. I, I used to not really buy Chloe dresses, but um, we go to church and she needs like church clothes. So I don't like fr super frilly dresses, but I do like either dresses or something just like a little bit cuter than her average like school stuff. So I bought her this dress I thought was super cute. And this is only $5.99. But I usually don't buy her dark colors like this. So I'm like, you know, let's, let's switch it up a little bit, you know? She got enough pink, even though the next thing I'm about to show you is pink. <laughs> but this is, again, for either school or church. Probably a little bit too dressy for school. So probably be church or like weekend wear or something like that. But um, this was on clearance for $8. And it's just a cute little shirt and pants. Next up is the one bathing suit I found. I actually bought this in two sizes because I, I tried it on. I tried on a medium and it fit, but there's a part of it that I'm really not too sure about. So I also bought the large because I didn't feel like trying it back on. And plus, I just felt like when I tried on with my like cover up and stuff, I'll probably have a better idea of which one I should keep. So one will be getting returned. But this is by Kenneth Cole and it was $29.99 which I feel like is a pretty good price. It says the regular price on here would have been $50, but I don't know how true that is. But So this is what it looks like. It's a one piece, but it does have all this open area, which I like. Typically, I don't like one pieces because I feel like my body shape, it makes me look frumpy. Um, I, I mean, y'all have seen me, but you don't see me standing up very much, but I'm more of a, a pear shape. So... A lot of one pieces, I feel like they just, they don't accentuate my best parts. Like I don't even really like showing my legs. So what it covers up is my stomach and not like my stomach is like amazing or anything, but I do like to see my shape because I just feel like that looks better on me. Um, so I do like that this is open, but it still has the coverage of a one piece. So I do like this and I don't think it's too like racy or anything. And the back is kind of like full, I guess it's full coverage back. I don't know. It's not like too, it's not too like um, revealing in the back. So yeah, I really like this. Um, and this is the only one I found. And I love the color. I love like olive green, orange type tones, earthy tones on me. So yeah, I got to figure out which one I'm keeping. Here's the other one. They're the same, but... Uh, here's another dress for Chloe. And I thought this was super cute. So. I got Chloe some of these headbands. Um, she loses a lot of her headbands, like, at school. Like, <laughs> she'll take it off. And then who knows what happened to it. And then sometimes it'll turn up, like, in her little cubby holder, like, weeks later. Um, or she'll take it off when we're out somewhere. So she kind of loses them. So she kind of needed some more. Plus some of them I'm having to get rid of because they're getting too small for her. So I saw these and they were only $5. So I figured this will be easier than purchasing on Amazon. So got those. And then I got these pants, which are like joggers. I did try these on, but not in this size. So this is a large. I tried them on in a medium, which I could fit, but I felt like they were a little bit too tight. Um, so I got the large, and I think this is probably junior sizing because I felt, I don't know, I'm kind of in, I don't know what size I'm in, I am. So I got the large, <laughs> but I thought these were cute. I don't know if I'm going to wear these out of town, but I felt like this would be a good option for me to take because it's something other than jeans, but I'm still like covered, like, I feel way more comfortable in pants, so I, um, sorry, I just got a message on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that. And then I bought this dress, which I feel like my husband is not gonna like. Cause I feel like this is like ultimate mom dress, but it's so cute. Um, but yeah, it's just a chambray dress. And 
Let's see, maybe I can stand back and kind of hold it up. No, nope, you still can't see it, but yeah. It's just like a V-neck, and then the bottom is a little bit distressed. And I like this because it's long enough for me to feel comfortable in. Like I can run errands in this. I'm probably gonna take it with me out of town. Um, and it just looks like I'm, I don't know, it gives me like the effortless vibe. So this with like some of my, uh, my Tory Burch Millers be super cute and comfy. And it's just really soft. It's by the company called Thread and Supply. And I saw a lot of their stuff there in Marshalls and I'm really impressed with, I mean, all the quality looks pretty nice. Like something that I would purchase from Nordstrom or something like that. Uh, this was $19.99. I'm not sure where else they sell this brand, but they, they had quite a few of their things at TJ Maxx. So that, got some socks. These are Adidas socks and I love these. So I saw some more in there. So I picked them up. I'm always losing my socks. So I always need more. And then I bought these little bralettes. They're by Vince Camuto. I didn't try them on, but I'm thinking they'll work. Cause I just, I like to sleep in these types of bras. Um, I don't like to go braless, <laughs> but I don't like to be like so restricted either while I'm sleeping. So I figured these will work. They look like they'll fit. Hopefully they will. That was only, they were $10 for two of them. And then um, I got these little shoes for Chloe. I think Chloe got like more stuff than me. This was supposed to be a shopping haul for me. Yeah, that's how it goes though. I didn't get anything for Noah and I looked but I couldn't find anything. He really doesn't need anything, but usually if I buy something for Chloe, I feel guilty not buying anything for him, but I didn't see anything I liked. So I wasn't just gonna purchase something just to say I got him something. So that's that's the way it goes with boy stuff. I feel like I always find way more for Chloe. Um, for Noah, I usually end up having to spend a little bit more money because I don't know. It just seems that that's the way it goes. Like Chloe, I can get her clothes from anywhere. But him, he's at that age now where, I don't know, he's kind of like in between little boy and baby. I mean, yeah, in between boy and baby. So I don't like to dress him like a baby, but the selection for his size is never very good at a lot of places. This, why, why, why am I continuing to talk? But anyway, <laughs> I thought these shoes were cute. And I like buying her sandals that don't go between the toe because I feel like that's kind of uncomfortable for a little kid. And I like sandals that also buckle. And these are by Children's Place. They have the grip on the bottom. And I just like the colors, very springy, summerish. And these were $10, they're size five. And that's that. That's my haul. So yeah, I am going to let y'all go now that I have sat here and talked to y'all for about 20 minutes and go eat some lunch and go ahead and get to the business of cleaning up my house and stuff. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.